we march towards the postseason, Mountain West men's basketball is nationally elite with five teams in position to receive bids into the NCAA tournament. One of the stops on the road to the big dance, of course, is the conference championship in Las Vegas, at which point the Mountain West will announce its players and coach of the year awards. Hi, everybody. I'm Jesse Kurtz here in the Mountain West Network studio, where we thought it might be fun to get some insight into who might have the inside track to those postseason awards. So with that said, we're going to bring in national basketball broadcaster Richie Schuler to give us that insight. Richie, it's great to see you. How are you? Doing great, man. It's always fun to be hanging out with you, Jesse. How's it going? Yeah, I couldn't be better, my friend. So there are some great players right now in the Mountain West playing at an elite level and have their teams in that conversation to make the NCAA tournament. With one month left here in the regular season, who is your midseason player of the year in the Mountain West? You know, player of the year is always a tough one because the Mountain West is always just oozing with talent. But this is going to surprise some people. I'm going with Tyson Dagenhart from Boise State, arguably the best player on the best team in the Mountain West. And I believe that's what you have to be unless you're just a world beater with your statistical output. You're talking over 14 and a half points per game, five and a half boards, two assists per game. Harley turns the ball over and he's shooting the ball well. 53% from the field, 70% from the free throw line. He's top five in the Mountain West in minutes per game. He rarely takes a rest. The only real negative really is he's not shooting the ball as well from three as he was a season ago, but he's been playing out of position all season long. Boise State's been playing small ball all year. So he's an undersized five man, but he's really making a lot of plays inside 15 feet. I, I like how he attacks mismatches in the post. He's really good with his basketball savvy. He serves as a vocal leader, holds his teammates accountable, and does that as a sophomore, which is really impressive. But keep in mind, Boise State's the Mountain West defending champions, both regular season and in the tournament. I mean, he's a big part of the reason they were last year as a freshman. But you know, Jesse, this is a tough award to choose. Trust me, if New Mexico had won maybe one or two more games at this point and was in the top three, we'd be given serious consideration to Jamal Mashburn Jr., Jalen House. I mean, their numbers are just fantastic. Yeah, I think you're right. And we talk about Dagan Hart, the reigning freshman of the year in the Mountain West. Boy, he's a difference maker. Dating back to last season, he has started the last 30 games. The Broncos 25-5. and five over that stretch. I mean, that's putting valuable in that MVP discussion, no question about it. All right, having a great defender can often be the difference between winning and losing in college athletics. Which individual has impressed you the most on the defensive end and is your Mountain West midseason defensive player of the year? If we had to choose right now, I just mentioned him, New Mexico's Jalen House. It's another reason why he's a legit player of the year candidate. He's among, among the best in the Mountain West, both on the offensive end, but also on the defensive end. And I'm choosing him over some big man rim protectors. He's just a little guy. He's six foot, 160 pounds, but he leads the Mountain West in steals at nearly three steals per game and, and by more than half a steal per game for the number two guy. And still, albeit small, he's top 20 in the Mountain West in blocks per game. He's really, really quick. He's super energetic. He draws fouls on both ends of the floor. Often in games, gets a couple of offensive fouls, poor contests. And I really like how he suffocates opponents on ball defensively. He picks a lot of pockets. He's by far one of the best players, not just defensively, though, in the Mountain West, in my opinion. Yeah, Jalen played for his uncle in high school, Mike Bibby, the former University of Arizona great. Kind of reminds you a little bit of Mike Bibby, the guy that led the Wildcats to a national championship. Uh, by the way, Mike Bibby, fun fact, a UNLV graduate. So there you go. Uh, with the transfer portal making such a huge impact across college athletics in a variety of sports, it's really tough to make an impact as a freshman, but there are a handful of players who have done just that once again so far in this league. Which first-year player has impressed you the most, and at this point, has the inside track to be the freshman of the year? You really can't go wrong with Nevada's Darian Williams. I mean, he has been a big piece to Steve Alford's rebuild this year. From eighth last year, to sitting a game back from first this season right now, he's been in terrific. 6'6", 210 pounds. He started nearly every game. He averages almost 30 minutes per game. Seven points per game, but he's seventh in the Mountain West with over seven rebounds per game. He's dishing about two and a half assists per game. He's got a two and a half to one assist or turnover ratio. He's top 10 in the Mountain West in steals per game, about a steal and a half per game. He's had multiple freshman of the week honors this season. I think he's a stat stuffer. He can play positions one through four. He's long, he's skilled, he's athletic, he makes winning plays. I think he's a key player in the success under Steve Alford this season at Nevada. Yeah, Williams, the Gatorade Player of the Year during his high school days at Bishop Gorman High School in Las Vegas. Steve Alford is on record saying Williams could be, a few years down the line, one of the greats to ever play at Nevada, talking about his high IQ, his body type, his strength. He's the entire 
package for Steve Alford and the uh, Nevada Wolfpack. All right, as mentioned, the transfer portal makes it hard to make an impact as a freshman, but you can come in and make an impact at a high level as a transfer. Mountain West, no different in that respect. So who is your top newcomer in the league so far? You know, there's a lot of guys you could choose here, but Morris Udeze from New Mexico is who I would pick right now. The grad transfer from Wichita State, played four years for the Shockers, 6'8", 240 pounds forward. It's brought some much-needed size to Coach Richard Pertino's program. If you remember a year ago, this was a deficiency they had. He's the perfect piece for their team, in my opinion. He's third in scoring behind who I mentioned earlier, Jamal Mashburn Jr., Jalen House. He's averaging over 15 and a half points per game, seventh in the Mountain West in scoring, over eight and a half rebounds per game. That's tops in the Mountain West, nearly 60% from the field. That's second in the Mountain West. I mean, he's been terrific. He blocks shots. He's always on the floor for 30 minutes per game. He's that X factor on both ends. I think New Mexico needs and really, it's a huge reason why the Lobos have won the Battle of the Boards all season long. You mentioned Udeze, part of that terrific trio for the Lobos who are averaging 15.7 points per game. Three players averaging at least that. The only other team in America to make that claim, the North Carolina Tar Heels. Pretty good company. All right, finally, as mentioned, this league uh, has been so good this year. Five teams in position to make the NCAA tournament. The league is as tough as it ever has been, 1 through 11. As they say, it can be cliche, but it's true this year. There are no days off in this league. And a big reason for that, the tremendous coaching that we have on our campuses in the Mountain West. But there can be only one coach of the year at the end of the season. So at this point, who's your one? You know, there's always a debate over who should be coach of the year. Is it the coach of the best team or is it the coach of the team who surprises everybody the most? I chose Nevada's Steve Alford. From where they were last year, they won 13 games. They were 6-12 and 12 in the Mountain West to be in preseason pick ninth this year to now being contenders to winning the Mountain West Championship right now. If season were to end today, I would pick Steve Alford. If you look at the season box score, they actually lead in every major statistical category. Scoring, rebounding, assists, steals, blocks, Field goal percentage, three-point percentage, free throw percentage, and all this in large part to Oregon State's transfer, Jared Lucas, that Coach Alford brought in, who's been outstanding this year. Top five in the Mountain West in minutes per game, points per game, free throw percentage, three-point percentage. He's been really, really good, helping get over the top. But, hey, there's so many other coaches at the top of the standings. They're worthy of this award. Let's just see how this last month goes to see who really wins this award at the end of the season. Well, you knew it was only a matter of time before Steve Alford had his team in the national conversation. This is a guy who's won the postseason coach of the year in this league three times. He also has six titles to his credit, four regular season titles, two tournament titles. So he's been there and done that. And Steve Alford has the Wolfpack playing at a very high level once again here this season. Richie, we really appreciate your insight here and, and give us a window on who might have the inside track to those postseason awards. We look forward to catching up with you down the line. Appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Good hanging out with you, Jesse. You bet. That's Richie Schuler, National College basketball broadcaster, who, by the way, will be one of the broadcasters for the opening round of the Mountain West Men's Championship Tournament, which will be broadcast right here on the Mountain West Network. If you want to see the action in person, you can buy tickets right now at the mw.com slash 2023 or at your team's ticket office. We'll see you in Las Vegas. From the Mountain West Network studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.